Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Do Not Open. It is I, your host, Gordon Nice. I'm uh, here to do some more jump scares for y'all, and I hope y'all been enjoying it. If, you, if you're just now catching my channel, uh, you could definitely go back to watch part one of my gameplay of this game and laugh your head off uh, at my jump stairs and screams. <laughs> Uh, I will say again, knock on wood, I have not failed at this at this yet. I have not gotten caught, and I hope it stays that way. Um, without further ado, guys, we're going to jump right back into the next room. Do me a favor if you haven't already subscribe to my channel, guys, and continue to see more uh, enjoyable content for me. I have a ton of uh, horror horror games on my channel, guys. Take your pick and have a blast. All right, we're going to get right into it. Ah, so that answers that question. We can't go in there, uh, which is cool. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is where, yeah, that's okay. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it then. It, it's decided for us. Uh, I am not excited about doing this. Not even a little bit. And I don't remember if this was here uh, when we first came into this room. I don't know. Obviously, I can't go past it. <sighs> okay, guys. Um, here we go. Into the depths. Do I have my flashlight on? Yes, I do. Oh, man. There's something right there. How are we able to see, see that from that far? Away? Okay. Okay. All right. Just embedded in the walls. Okay. All right. There is a note here. What does it say? Dad, I can't help you from here. Great. She's been helping me the whole time? Okay, let's just take it slow. It is so quiet. Do you want to cross into cross to the rift? Not yet. Wait a minute. Let me go back. We did do everything that we could do out here, right? I'm not missing anything, Emma. This door... This door doesn't open. We we've already. I'm just I'm just double just re retracing my steps here, guys. We've been through here. It's probably locked now. Yep, we've been in there. We've been over here. Um, there wasn't a door back here. No, it's not. We've been over here. We've done this one already. I guess we don't have a choice, guys. I think that's it. Well, okay. Into the into the rift we go, whatever that means. Oh, brother. Not you running down here. Boy, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. All right, we going, y'all. Can we see our feet? Nope. Um, the loading screen just now said, keep an eye on your wristwatch. We've never had to use it since we've been, since we played this game. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to do. Does it help with when she's chasing you? What does it say? Meet, meet the innovation hunters. I'm sure one of those is him. Oh no. Okay, guys. Two eight four seven. Turn clockwise until the first number matches the red arrow. Maybe I should write this down. Let's see. I wouldn't imagine they would put the code right here on this paper, but you never know. <laughs> uh, you turn it clockwise. Until the first number matches the red arrow. Turn clockwise until the second number reaches the red arrow. You mean counterclockwise? Because I'm looking at it, it says counterclockwise. Turn it again clockwise for the third number. Finally, turn it counterclockwise toward the last digit as to be able to unlock the lock, pulling it from the shackle. Yeah, like we, we any, any, anyone who has been in high school knows that. 
Yeah, but we don't we don't have the codes for these yet. Xavier Payne, okay. Frank Loach. That's us. Michael Goring. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right though. We have another one over here. Javier Lettuce. Fernando Moya. Do we need to open all of these? And where do we find these codes? All right, guys, let's get at it then. Okay. Decontamination suits. Uh, do we need to put one of them on before we go through here? I guess not. Okay, in we go. I, at this point, I can't inter I can't really interact with anything. I don't want to interact with that. What was that? Okay, let's start around this side of the room. Nothing. Just a bunch of documents, hazmat stuff. What's in here? Nothing. Close that back. It's a hard drive. What's this note here? What? Okay, I'll write this down too. Is that, are those nines or fives? What, <laughs> one nine nine dot zero times zero comma zero one milliliters, I guess? I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I know very little about this kind of stuff. Nothing. Is that a bat? Why are we studying bats? Okay, continue, just keep looking. Nothing here. What do we have this here? This one could be useful. Useful how? Useful for what, sir? I have no idea what we're doing. More literature. All right. Headline: Vomiting, dizziness, dehydration, and dementia uh, among possible symptoms. Uh, information on the symptoms those suffered by Mr. Lutz before his death has been made available so that any citizen can inform the county hospital. Uh, and the police, if he suffers from them or knows someone who may be suspected of uh, incubating the virus. The only information regarding the symptoms reported to the newspaper by several citizens is the following dizziness, vomiting, extreme de dehydration, blood clots, and according to what was verified in Lutz, hallucinations, violent outbursts, and dementia. Great. Nothing. What 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 exactly are you? Is that a what is that right there? What is that? Those look like lungs. I I guess that's a stomach. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Lord have mercy, boy. This is this is this. this it's like something's missing. Clearly, there are three glasses here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I'm starting to get it a little bit. Clearly, we don't want to mess with that. Okay, what's this? Is that a document? I'm trying to get to it. Okay. Anthony has messed it up again. We only have beakers. Uh oh. Time to write some more stuff down. Uh, beakers of 25 milliliters, uh, 33 milliliters, and 50 milliliters. Uh, we have to ask Frank to order the remaining measures. Okay. Got it. And this. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. It happened again. Uh, Andrew, the weight of the scale to unlock the modular container has been changed. Uh, and to top it off, the clumsy guy has broken the beakers again. There's only three left. One of them is on George's table. I'm leaving the total weight to open the container in the lungs? Okay. In the wake of, of the wake of the last meeting on Thursday, direction has uh, taken the dis dissension decision to uh, to reassessing the lockers to know which ones correspond to who read this table 
Uh, direction recommends you change the password if your locker's locked. We won't take responsibility for your loss. Okay, so this is another uh, picture that I'm going to need to take uh, in order to have this information. Uh, okay. So that's all that's in here. I don't, I don't think there's nothing else I can interact with in here. So I need to go over to the lockers and begin opening them, I guess. What's on this table? Anything? No? Nothing? No. Can I grab those? Oh, was this more reading material? It looks that way. Uh, headline, neighborhood fear, fears after first cases reported near Burkittsville. Local health authorities call for urgent action by federal government. After the recent death of George Lutz, considered patient zero of the pandemic, uh, hypotheses are opened as to how he could have contracted disease that led him to a painful death. Authorities say this outbreak is spreading faster than usual. The first cases are already being reported outside the city and... If forecasts hold true, new cases will be found outside Frederick County within days. Authorities are calling for urgent intervention by the federal government as the insane will number in the thousands within hours, according to the deputy. Okay. So whatever these guys were studying resulted in an outbreak. Great. Oh. Okay, we filled them all with water. I don't I don't know. I guess we have to figure that out. All right, I'm going to I'm going to start by going back to these lockers over here. And see if we can start opening some of them. Uh I guess we'll start with this one. Which one is this? Uh for Fernando Moya. Let's see what his is. Fernando Moya, is he on here? Yes, he is. With lock 0151, uh, 1051, uh, 1, 0, 5, 1. Got it. Shit, I'm messing it up. How you messed up? You opened it, bro. What do you mean? Okay. That does read confusing because most locks don't do this. See, the, 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 where the eight is, it's showing counterclockwise, but the directions say turn clockwise. That, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Well, we, we opened it. So, I mean, okay. All right. So what is Xavier Payne? Uh, six. Six three eight six. So let's uh, let's do this one. All right. Six three eight six. What is this? I have no idea. What we just picked up. Uh, okay. I thought there was another. Wasn't there another one? Yeah. Uh, Javier. Lettuce. Uh, his is 53, 5360. So let's go ahead and open this one. Uh, five, three, eight, six, zero. This doesn't look right. Okay. What, what do you mean? It doesn't look right. It's empty. All right. The last one we got to open is, is ours. Michael Goring, uh, 20, 2041. 2041. Shit, I'm messing it up. How, how are you messing it up, sir? Are these supposed to reset or something? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they're all open. The only thing we got it found is this vial. So I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh. Oh, can we? Can we open this? What is that in there? What am I getting an X on? Did we look at this? 
Okay, Nathan, have you seen the damage at the containment chamber? Keep uh, keep with the remaining task until it's repaired. Last week, Zav uh, Xavier received an electric shock because he was messing with the wires. Don't fret, though. He took the fuse out to avoid further accidents. Call me paranoid if you wish, but I think it was on purpose. Wires don't break by themselves. I have a bad feeling about this. So that's what we just picked up was the fuse. Is this different? No. Uh. Yeah, this is the same. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing there, there's something in here. You see that right there? There's something in there. Now, where is this fuse supposed to go? So this said one one ninety nine. Can we pour? Wait. Do we need to get this right first? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I kind of need to know how it starts. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Um. Oh, this is going to be fun. I need, which one? I need that one all the way. Well, maybe this one. This reminds me of this, that slide game as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Over, 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 and then down. Uh, let's see. I guess from here. Crud. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to do this uh, as a jump cut, guys. So I will be right back when I have this solved. Okay, guys. I think I got it uh, at least up to this point. So the uh, only piece I should have to move is this one here. Ta-da! Okay. What did that do, though? Oh, what do we have here? Okay, that's part of the key. I've noticed that there is nowhere to hide in here. There's nowhere to hide. We'd have to run back. Oh my God. It's gone. It's her, hit him, her, hit it. It's gone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it says one, 199. I don't know that you can Okay. What though? One ninety nine times what? Eight, five. I'm at, I'm adding up all the milliliters. This is the fifty, I think. Um. That equals five. Yeah, five. 13, no, 33. Okay, just trying to get my numbers right here. Okay, so we have to make this equal 199. Is that it? Okay, so if this is 50, that's 58. Mm hmm. got my numbers right here. What was that? Uh, 83. Uh, number 25 would be 8. 33. That's going to be too much. Can we empty this? We can't. Okay, let me let me let me do the math on this one, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think I got it. So I think we need to do um, two of these, two fifties. Uh, we do another one. 
two fifties. And then three of these. Or is it 33? I think this is the 33. Yes. And then three of these. Two. And then one more. To give you 199. What opened? This. The other half of the key. But the problem, where, where do I go with it? I, I have, there's nowhere to run, so I don't, I don't know. Like, so, okay, so what, well, I don't hear her. Do I just take it back? Lord have mercy. Well, that's death. I have nowhere to hide, brother. Is she in here with me? Oh my lord! Go, 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 bro! Please let these doors be open. Oh my goodness! Shepherd, shut up! It's my fault. Shut up now! Shut up! Stop looking at me! Stop looking at me! It's my fault. It's my fault. There's no way out. So it appears then that he got infected with this virus. Um, it made him crazy. Uh, I think he accidentally killed his family and realized that the only escape he had was to potentially, you know, unalive uh, is how I'm interpreting that. Can I still not go to the store? Can't. All right, let's put this last key in here. If it's the last key, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. Okay. It looks like a heart, maybe? That's it? So now what? What the fuck? Mm -mm. Y'all already know that's a bunch of nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Y'all know I don't play that, man. No, we go we we gonna recoup here a minute. Uh, cause I don't I don't know if that's supposed to be Julia down there. Look at that. Look, what is that? Her or something else? We gonna take our sweet time getting down here. Sweet time. Oh, he's running. <laughs> Done what? Oh, I never oh no. This. Dad. What? What's happening to me? Dad, I can't reach you. I can't breathe. No! Julia! Not to... We fell back into that room? Wait a minute. I'm not in control here, guys. I have no idea what's happening. Are you blacking out? 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is another horror game in the bag. Uh, do not open. Uh, I, I, I really enjoyed the game, guys. Uh, I felt like graphically the game was, it looked great. It was, uh, the, the, the graphical aspects of it were amazing. Um, I really like, I've always been a fan of that perspective of horror that, that keeps you on your toes, right? And I feel like this game did a, a good job of that. However, um, and maybe a different setting would have uh, instituted that, but uh, I would have enjoyed it. I think I would have enjoyed it a bit more if I was always on the run instead of only being on the run after like finding, uh, you know, the, the, the key parts and putting them together and then having a race for the front door. I think it would have been a whole lot more uh, terrifying if, if she had been chasing me the entire time. And again, there is a setting on there I think that might allow for that. Uh, but I didn't know it at the time, you know, that I started playing. But um, I feel like for the game to be as short as it was, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I, you know, I don't know if these games are like concepts, uh, but expanding on something like this would be, I think, a, a great addition to the horror genre, guys. So if, if I had to give the game a rating uh, based on my interaction with it, you know, graphically, story, wise, you know, uh, length of game, replayability, uh, I'd probably give it about a 7.5. Um, I would have, again, I would have liked to, for it to been a, been a bit longer. Uh, I feel like the story was good, but it was kind of rushed a little bit, I guess maybe just to keep it within the confines of the game, uh, of the, of the length of the game in totality. Um, and just, just seeing this, this type of thing, you know, this this type of uh, horror genre just being ex expanded a lot more. Um, I did kind of, in a way, have uh, uh, some vibes of other types of horror games, uh, but by and large, uh, it 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 was great. I, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If nothing else, you guys enjoyed hearing me scream. <laughs> so, guys, that's it. Uh, do me a favor if you haven't considered doing so already. Consider dropping me a subscription uh, and letting me know how much you appreciate what I do. Please comment below. And let me know your thoughts. I'd love to get to know you. This is Gordon Nias. I'm out and I will see you on the next horror game. Later.